Hey everybody, what's going on? Richard Hale here with teachingonlinebusiness.com. Want to welcome everybody to a quick video tip. We're talking about procrastinating today. Procrastinating is a big, big problem because if you're not getting things done, no matter if you're in business or not, it's a problem. And so many people have struggled in this area. So many people struggle to get things done, to multitask. And there's a lot of different reasons behind it, but today we're going to focus on how you can rise above the procrastination and get things done. So, want to go ahead and get straight into it. Tip number one. Let's talk about multitasking. multitasking this is something that many of us try to and attempt to do but here's the thing our brain the way it thinks when we're multitasking if, if our brain thinks we're getting things done right but in all actuality most of us struggle with multitasking we're trying to do something here do something here do something there and what happens is we're focusing our effort and energy on everything but we're not getting anything specific accomplished and while some people can do good at multitasking and getting things done the majority of us we struggle with it we don't get things done and it becomes a huge problem now keep in mind that I'm referencing this video based on a business perspective so for entrepreneurs business owners trying to uh, you know handle clients handle projects get things done grow their business it's a struggle so the first thing that you need to do is quit multitasking okay you're not getting things done and again for the majority of us we struggle in this area we think that we're getting things done because we're working on so many different elements but in all actuality when we take a broad view and look back we're spending time here spending time here we're starting on something new starting here starting there but we're never getting it all crossed out we're, we're never completing those projects so the first thing to quit procrastinating is stop multitasking instead of trying to do everything at once we need singular vision we need a singular focus on what needs done and what doesn't so that leads to step number two which is time blocks I love this idea I struggled with procrastinating for many many years and what helped me step out of that and actually get results was time blocks let me show you what I mean by this so with time blocks as entrepreneurs and business owners especially when we own our own business it's very easy to not pay attention to the clock to not pay attention to our time and this points back to the importance of having a plan most entrepreneurs and business owners they don't time block they don't have a plan to follow so two things you need to be doing time blocks and planning out your day and you can do both with time blocks so let me give you an example so my day starts at 6 in the morning so during this first hour I do what is called my morning ritual and if you want to learn about exactly what this is you can look at our video library here on YouTube and you'll be able to go ahead and watch that video too because I think the morning ritual is very very important it's been life-changing for me but during this time, I'm um, going through things that I'm grateful for. Um, I'm looking at my to-do list for today. I'm figuring out what's priority for today. And I'm scheduling my day. I'm planning my day based on that to-do list, which I do every night, every evening before I leave work, before I leave the office. I create a to-do list. So during this, during this morning, so every morning, during this morning ritual time, the last thing I do is I look at my to-do list and I start time blocking 
my day. So usually for me, I like working in three hour time blocks. I found out that this is quite effective for me and due to the nature of my business, it's good to schedule three hour time blocks. You may find it different. Every industry, niche market, it's different. So every business is going to be a little bit different. What you need to think about is what's comfortable for you. But when it comes to this to-do list, so I create it every evening before I start work and in the mornings during this morning ritual time where I'm getting my mindset right. I'm talking about things that I'm grateful for. I'm visioning where I'm going in my life. I'm visioning where I'm going in my business. And again, you can watch that morning ritual. It's very, very effective. It's getting my mindset right. You can see it again on our library of videos. But during this first three hour time slot, the thing that you have to remember, I want to focus on what is the most important thing that needs to be done for this specific day the first thing in the morning. My mind is fresh. It's the best time to work on a big project. So I want to make sure it's priority. So you need to think about your to-do list in a priority way. Think about what is the most important thing that you need to get done right this very minute. And that's what I'll do with my first three hour time block. So we have our morning ritual. That's our first time block. Our second time block is 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. And this is going to be where I work on a big project. Then I may have a 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, phone consult. And after this, I'm going to take a lunch. Because this is going to be four hours of work. And every four hours, I want to make sure I get an hour break in. So this is going to be a lunch. Then when it comes to planning the rest of my evening, this is going to be another three-hour time block. And again, I want you to think priority. What is the most important thing that needs to get done? So from 12 to 3, it's usually a big project. Then from 3 to 5, which is going to be a two-hour time slot, I'm working on this to-do list. So down here is my to-do list, some important things. So up here, I'll schedule what needs to be done right this very minute. If it can wait for the next day, it's going to come down here in this bottom time block that way. That's my next to-do list, and we'll start this whole process over again, working on the priority first. Your schedule could be a little bit different. You may have a 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. priority time block, then the rest of your day is focusing on the little small task, and that's fine. But the most important thing here is scheduling your time, making sure you're doing time blocks and planning. Very, very important. Keep track of your time this way. When you plan time blocks, you're not wasting energy, you're not wasting time, you're not wasting effort on trying to get other things done. I can put my focus on a singular thing, a singular project, work on it from start to finish, and get things done. So time blocks are very, very important. So when it comes to step three, a lot of times... When we procrastinate, it's because we view it as a lot of work. We view it, given a top-level view. For example, when I may have this time block right here, and it may be a Facebook ads campaign for a new client. So I know there is a lot of steps to this process. So what we want to do when it comes to breaking things. So what we want to do is we want to break things down. And that is step number three. Break it down. We want to break our projects down. So let me show you what I mean by this. So if we get a new client in, and again, say it's a Facebook ad campaign for a new client, it's a priority for today, so 
since it is a priority, this is something we're going to schedule first thing in the morning, and we're going to get this done. But we're not viewing it as a big Facebook ad campaign. We're not worrying about all the things we got to do for this. Instead, we are going to break this down step by step. So the first thing we do when we bring on somebody for a Facebook ad campaign, we're going to do market research, right? So we know that's going to be our first step. Our second step, we're probably going to start looking at competitors, looking at other ads, right? Then we'll look at the landing page, sales page. Of course, I'm not going to explain every one of them, but my point is you want to break this big project down into easy to follow steps that way I have a full outline of what I need to do from start to finish to be able to get this done do my market research once I'm done with that I can check it off my list it's done go to the competitor ads it's done go look at the funnel the landing page the sales page it's done beginning to write the ad copy ad creatives making sure pixels are tracking you know I go through each one of these steps I break it down and it becomes an easy, easy process. So rather than worrying about being a big project, trying to get it done, make sure you put it on your time block. Again, we have to think priority. What is the most important thing you need to be doing right this very minute? And that's what needs to go scheduled first in your time blocks. So again, looking at step three, we're breaking it down, breaking it down so we can follow an easy one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D process again from start to finish to get it complete. And that's the thing. We want to get this project completely done so we can cross it out, move it away. It's no longer on our time block. It's done and we can move on. Let's use another example. Let's say we have a 4,000 word a blog that we got to do right so this is going to be a priority on your list today and you need to write a 4,000 word blog now looking at it from a top view it's like wow that that's a lot to do but again what we need to do is we need to break this down and I want you to think about this model in your head put a start and a finish line Okay, I want you to always think about this. What are the steps to get from here to here? Again, we want to start it and we want to finish it. We want to complete this project. So break it down. Step one may be uh, topic research, right? Step two, maybe we're going to outline outline the headings of this particular blog then step three we can start focusing on the paragraphs or the content for each heading section for example maybe our 4,000 word blog is going to have five title sections right so all of these are going to be title sections and then we can break it down and maybe each title section is going to have eight paragraphs total. So we break this down where we can be able to take this title and then we can write the content so we can focus on tackling this big project step by step by step and that is the key breaking whatever it is that you have to do down into the simplest form so you know exactly what to do to get it done and that's it guys if you can do this if you can quit multitasking right you have to stop it most of us again the majority of us struggle with multitasking because we focus have our mindset we have our energy our effort our time focused in too many different areas it can cost you a lot of time procrastinating big time 
multitask and eliminate it. Number two, don't forget your time blocks. Again, when you're creating your daily schedule, think priority. I want you to focus on the most important things first. And step three, break it down. Whatever you have to do, break it down step by step by step. That way you can make a checklist, go through it, cross it out, get it done. These three simple steps, and they are simple, but I promise you, if you're struggling to get things done, if you are a big if you if you are big on procrastinating, this is going to be super, super effective for you. So do me one favor, make sure you implement these as soon as possible. So thanks everybody. Hope you get some results. Let me know how it goes for you. And please, if you found this helpful, be sure to share our video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel because we always appreciate your support. So thanks, everybody. Hope you have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll catch you on the next video.